it's nice and light. I don't have another five feet standing off the end of this, so I don't have to worry about hitting the house with that extra pull. And then you just uh, sit here, it's a lot lighter. I've already noticed it's a lot lighter than even with that aluminum pull. And uh, put it in, just kick it out, extend your pull out. Now you don't have to worry about this pull coming out all the way either because it's not designed to come out all the way. So you don't have to worry about that. So um, adjust your pull. Let's kick on the hammerhead. Now let's extend this piece too. And when I noticed what they did here, they got a little red line right here. Now this lets you know where your V clip is. You can just send it out. It's got another one over here on this side. So you know where the V-clip is, so it's very easy. You don't have to sit there and twist the pole trying to find where the V-clip is going to be plugged in. So now, let's move it around. I'm going to see how strong this is. Not a whole lot of flex. I mean, not any more than you would get from your normal aluminum pole. Let's see if I want to move my hammerhead around. I can pick my hammerhead up. Move it around, no problem. Even over here, move it around, no problem. No slippage, not getting any slippage. Nice and sturdy. And let's just go back this way here with it. And so I can show you guys picking it up right here on the smaller part, picking it up, no problem. Putting it back down, moving it around. So, yeah, I would say yes. This pole, this pole, this pole can handle a hammerhead with no problems. Okay, so when we're done, flip it in, line up the red, light it in, that simple. Pick it up, unclip it, bring it back down, and you're good to go. Now again, moving it out, it's so light and I don't again I don't have that extra five feet out there where I'm gonna have to worry about hitting a house you know I can move this around I can come around here turn it off and now it's so it's so light I can just put the hammerhead down now I don't have to worry about that that extra five feet that's a major plus major major plus on uh, on this and another major plus that I've noticed is netting the pool it's so short that you can grip it here and again when you're trying to do a when the house is so close like this um, trying to net this can be a real pain with that bigger pole you're gonna have to watch out above you too with this one here you don't have to you can just come around here and do your netting right here you want to extend it out you extend it out fast simple going in there bringing it back down simple so, so far, in three days of using this, so far I would recommend this pull. Um, I'm gonna put it through a few more tests and see what happens. So, but right now, I'm loving the pull. Um, extending out is easy, it's fast. And once you get used to the system, and I believe you can even like rotate this around so it's more comfortable for you, so you can figure it out and uh, they got a little clip right here, which I like. There's a little clip right here. So this lever does not just open up on you. And that's a good idea. And same with that red stripe. That red stripe is a very good idea. Um, they're also making an adapter for larger nets like the animal. Um, so that's awesome. And that's about it so far. So, so far, I'm liking the pull. So um, give it a couple more days and then put a full review out on uh, YouTube on this pull. So we'll take some shots of this pull right here that I'm at right now and uh, we'll call it a wrap.
Had this pool now for about three years, two or three years. Brand new, replastered. This is spa. This is a salt pool. Take a look at that tile. No tile line. That's because this water is balanced. And this is what good water chemistry does. You don't have a you don't have a line, even though it's a salt pool, and you usually get a line. And we have some nice turtles down there. Nice turtles going on down there. <laughs>